When you watch the Villafane family of Michigan dig into their Halloween pumpkins. Go, start carving. The first question that comes to mind is. There he goes, there he goes. What a pumpkin ever do to them? Norman Bates carved more kindly. And yet, uh, this is how Ray Villafane teaches his kids how to start on a pumpkin. Go. And not just his kids. Take this tool. <laughs> He goes around to schools and tries to get other kids to adopt the same skin them alive approach. If you want to make a good pumpkin, you have to push the limits. There's clearly a madness to his method, but Ray is not completely out of his gourd. In fact, okay. he may be a genius. It's a different way of thinking. For the past 15 years, Ray has spent every October in his basement studio, reinventing the art of pumpkin carving. Using sculpting tools instead of knives, Ray can now take a pumpkin and over the course of about eight hours, turn it into a truly museum quality fruit. To me, you, you carve a pumpkin to transform it into something that's alive. Believe it or not, all these started out as single pumpkins each carving more improbable than the next, each creation challenging the limits of what is pumpkinly possible. I'm so obsessive when I get into something, I don't go to sleep, I stay up all night, I keep doing it. Has he been like this since you met him? Um, pretty much. There's an apple, honey. Ray's wife, Tammy, says pumpkins were just the beginning. I need a knife. They merely opened his eyes to an infinitely carvable world. <laughs> Today, the former grade school teacher sculpts full time. He makes models like this for toy companies, and he's starting to get into sand sculpting, too. This is what he made the first time he ever tried. Ray clearly has a gift, such a gift, it's almost a curse. I see the eyes are too big. Like so many really people choppy. who are the best at what they do. The structure of the face is not right. Ray is rarely satisfied with anything he does. Would you throw it away? I've thrown away better ones than this, yeah. And although it drives his wife nuts, Ray says it's a healthy neurosis. In fact, that's the message he likes to leave with kids. That no matter what you do, to be great, you can't ever think you are. And of course, done. done? 15 years of practice Very nice job. doesn't hurt either. And as if Ray's accomplishments weren't impressive enough already, consider this, he's allergic to pumpkin. Those sculptures are amazing, but they all shrivel up eventually, right? That's what he likes about it though, sand and pumpkin. He likes the fact that all he's got left is a picture in the memories. Wow, yeah. well he is really talented, he Steve, really thanks is. so much.